the supporting act uh, on Saturday at uh, the Cox Plate meeting was uh, the Group 2 Amy Bars run over 2,040 metres for three-year-olds. Um, it's uh, you know, a time on the lead up to the Victoria Derby um, and going into the race as a short price favourite, two to one on to be precise, was uh, the short price Victoria Derby favourite in Huber Got You. Um, supposedly there to provide some sort of a challenge was uh, Sousa, the Group 1 Spring Champion Stakes winner, um, and a couple of other Derby hopes in the race. Uh, Ava, we'll let you take the lead for, uh, for your thoughts on the result. Yeah, I, I guess uh, it's well documented. We all probably on the panel thought that um, Hooper got to should probably have gone around the, in the Cox Plate, or we would like to have seen him go around the Cox Plate. And uh, and what he showed yesterday didn't change my mind at all. I mean, he, he's run... OK, the, there was a difference in the way that both races were run. However, he's run a second and a half faster than the Cox Plate yesterday. Um, his win was, again, uh, enormous. He, he gave the leaders, I think, probably 10 links start at the 800 metre mark, then proceeded uh, in running them up, going, you know, three, four, five, deep into the race. Uh, they sprinted from about the 500 metre mark onwards, which uh, under normal conditions would make it difficult for a horse to come back and make that from so far behind and travel deep under pressure into a race, but he just does it seemingly so easy. And, and he had him covered on the home turn. There was never any doubt uh, coming to the her turn who the winner was going to be. He was simply outstanding. The Vic Derby will be run at a, a, a over, even though it'll be run over 2,500, I feel it's going to be an easier race for him to win uh, than the Amy Vars, only because the pressure's different. They sort of relax and bowl along uh, at Flemington and only really start getting into the race at the home turn. And, long um, straight. Long straight. I think he'll settle a lot closer to the lead. He needs to draw a barrier. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I, I just don't think, it doesn't matter what happens, he wins the race. Uh, that's how superior he is to the other three-year-olds. Um, Even if he fell, I think he'd still win. Yeah, he would pick himself up, <laughs> throw the jockey on and continue, I've got no <laughs> doubts at all. Um, he can do it all, this horse. I, I think he's a legitimate superstar. Um, and next year, next year I really think, I really do, I, I struggle to, uh, to, with the, to coin the phrase champion when it comes to a race horse, and I'm not going to do it with this horse just yet, although I'm a massive fan of this horse. I'll wait till he's a four year old before I... Wait, wait till, he, till he races against at least one older gallop, but please don't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'm not, I'm, I, you know, I'm not one of those people who, who throws the, the term champion around lightly, I don't like that at all. Uh, but he is a superstar three-year-old, there's no disputing that. And um, I still think he's the best three-year-old in the country. Yeah, even though Samantha Miss ran third in the Cox play, I think this is a superior three-year-old. Um, Carnero, disappointing. I, I thought I expected a little more from him. Ridden he was ridden upside down. down yesterday. So maybe I'll just ride him a little bit more quietly in the, in, in the derby and, um, to give himself every opportunity. Sosa run along. Gee, I wish Sosa was in the Cox play. You'd see a different result in the race. Yeah. Um, and uh, I won't cover all the horses, I'll, I'll leave something for the other boys to discuss. But uh, once again, who have got you? Superstar through it all. Yeah. Oh, um, I just have to echo your thoughts about who have got you. Um, really, there's, there's just not enough superlatives for that horse. Um, I'm, I'm with you, I think that he's just something right out of the box. And um, I don't think we've seen a, a, as good a horse for many years. Um, he's just got that ability to switch off and his push button, when Michael Rod asks the horse to go, he just goes like a rocket, uh, makes them look like they're left standing. It's um, a great ability, isn't it? it he really goes is. from like second gear to fourth gear, there's no lag. That's right, yeah. You know, it's, it's just it's wonderful. Oh, it's phenomenal. Um, and he can sustain a long sprint as well. Um, it's not like he's just got that brilliant burst for yeah. 50, 100 meters. Yeah. He can just sustain it for a long time. So he's truly a... Um, <coughs> Outstanding, outstanding horse, and I know he hasn't beaten the older horses just yet, but um, it's just a beta complete, and you know? it'll happen in the autumn. Um, it would have happened yesterday had he run in the Cox Plate. Um, I'm with you, I think he's the best three year old. I actually think by space, um, even though Sam Smith misses, she, she fulfilled all of my expectations yesterday with her run. So um, I still think that he's, um, again, another level above. Uh, the horse I'd like to focus on um, from that race is uh, the runner up, Buffett. Um, I was watching the, uh, the, re the, the races yesterday and um, noticed the horse behind the enclosure, um, behind the barriers and just thought what a cracking type, I, he was clearly the nicest physical type at the race. And I saw that Ollie was on him so I thought well there must be something here. Mm -hmm. And uh, his previous run had been a little bit below par but uh, his run yesterday was, was, was full of merit. 
Um, I think he's got a lot of raw potential and um, I think he's the only horse that's going to be any sort of arrival to who we got you in the derby. It's his first campaign to It is, yeah. his fourth run. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's done well, hasn't it? He has, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot for the horse to come through and, and do that. Um, so, and he's trained by Danny O'Brien, he's by Dennis Singer, so he should be able to stay. Um, I'd certainly have him include him in any multiples with Ibi Gotchu in the derby. Um, if, any, if he did fall twice, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> then maybe he could be uh, a chance of winning that race. Right, but, uh, but other than that, um, uh, as for uh, the other horses in that race, I don't have a lot to say. I think Carnero was ridden upside down. Um, so he's entitled to another chance. Having said that, he's a horse now who's starting to be a bit of a gunner. Um, he does need to win a race. Um, and I think, uh, you know, he may be one of those that just runs on all the time and then and never quite gets the prize. So we'll give him one more shot in the derby, but um, uh, at best multiples, I'd say. Uh, no, some, some well made points, uh, both of you, for sure. Um, look, this guy's every bit as exciting as, as we've said all along. Um, he was uh, pretty devastating there uh, yesterday. Um, I, I do though, and, and let me preface this by saying uh, I'm as big a rap for this horse as any of you and, and I'm really looking forward to, to the derby because as I was saying, before this horse won a race this preparation, uh, or, or won a decent race anyway, before he won that Bill Stud, you know, all along I thought this horse was a derby horse just given the way he settles. And again, he showed that he settled like an absolute lamb there yesterday. But we do need to keep this performance in particular in perspective. Guys, they ran the first 1400 three seconds quicker than what the Cox Plate was run. The race was set up for him. Okay, it was as much set up for him as the Cox Plate was set up for Maldivian. And he's only beaten a provincial horse by a length or two. Okay, and you know, he, he wasn't exactly restrained to do it, so he, he was, you know, he was given a pretty, pretty significant rev up. So, for me, he had to do at the very least what he did, and I think that result confirmed to me that Mark Cabinet made the right decision by not running the horse, uh, at the very least because his stable mate won the race anyway. And I, I guess you know the way the Cox Plate panned out, he certainly was no hope anyway with with his racing pattern. But at the end of the day, I think it showed that at this stage of his career. He's the best three-year-old, and he needed to remain against racing against three-year-olds. So that, this race really did put that in perspective for me. But that's to take nothing away from the horse. The horse is sensational. I do feel that he'll be the one to come back as a wait for age superstar, potentially even next preparation as an autumn three-year-old if great, they get the chance. Challenge. You know, um, but you know this horse is doing everything on raw ability because it's only his first serious preparation, and um, you know he's doing some wonderful things. So let's just keep it all in perspective. He and actually hasn't had a spell yet because he raced through the winter. Yep. and was given a letter, that's what I mean. it's not even a spell, a letter in the spring, so he's done an amazing job. And that's what I mean, he's a very different, he was a very different commodity to Samantha Miss when, when weighing up each his chances and, and prospects in a cox plate, you know, Samantha Miss is a more seasoned galloper than him, and that's why I agree with you that he's... Who would you rather own? Oh, who we got you? He's untapped, he's still, he remains untapped, he remains untapped, so, uh, and, and doesn't he like the valley, eh, this I'd probably still would rather own the Philly. Because she's worth the worth ball, ball. Yeah. Oh, But as a racing <laughs> proposition, no, no, no. as, as a racing proposition, we're talking. Race as a racing proposition, no, no. you're, you're taking the no, no. got you every time. Because he, could, he, could, he could win any race. Oh, yeah. Big Brigade, Sousa, uh, look, he was supposed to be the one to relish any form of staying test out of any of them. Uh, set it up to be one and, and floundered. You know, I, I think uh, wet track form is always a query, and that's what uh, his was when he won the group one. I do, I, I do want to throw in one other thing, though. I think the Sydney form's been terrible. Rubbish. This spring. Rubbish. We have to say that. Rubbish. Samantha is the only good horse. And yeah. came out of Sydney yeah. so far. We've won nothing in Melbourne. And, and she beat donkeys, it's been proven. So, yeah, it's, we need to leave it. Mate, um, and, and look, Carnero, um, I think he's got some real question marks on him now. Take your point. He was ridden upside down, and he was. That, that's a fair comment, um, and, and probably didn't settle as well as you, you'd like to have seen. But you, you did start to hint, um, and I agree that you know the question marks are starting to appear on him now. People are starting to say, "Look, is this horse a gunner?" We got up to 2,000. How much longer do we have to wait? That's you know, right. there's only one more race to go, which was supposed to be the grand final. He needed to show more yesterday, and he didn't. So I, uh, I, I think they may have heard also in taking on this who we got you. I think Canero also it. needs to win a few races, so yeah. they probably should have gone out the B grade side yeah. with him yeah. um, because he's just not winning any races and that's no good for the horse's confidence. Yeah, look, there's only one horse that will get anywhere near 
Uber got you, and when I say anywhere near, it's probably no more than no closer than five lengths, um, and that's preeminence. Um, he, he's the winner of the Norman Robinson. Looks a horse that'll that'll enjoy the 2500 metres and will stay. I guarantee you one thing: Mick Price wouldn't go there with him unless he thought the horse uh, had a serious chance, because he's a, a, a noted uh, knocker of, of 2500 metre races for spring three-year-olds. So he's the only one that'll get anywhere near him. But it's Uber got you by how far? That's a wrap, boys. Thank you.